you guys go to the advisory committee. We go to the advisory committee, yeah. we present a budget. We don't know what our budget is. Yeah. Because we we are not told until the mm -hmm. night of town meeting. So that's why what we proposed, we're all walking in what we mm -hmm. proposed. And if the budget changes, it's going to be an argument on the floor. Mm -hmm. Because nothing is discussed to try to get it leveled out in the beginning. All right, so can I make the recommendation after our meeting of the 16th, after all our decisions are made, that if, it's, if there's a discrepancy with the request, that all department heads receive an email? Yeah, I can, we're going to pretty much hammer out the budget on yeah, the 16th. Yeah. We're going to have some, between the two of us, we're going to have So that, 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 can either, that can either be your discretion to email, or we can do that through right. the selectman's office. Or if you want to come in and find, if, if you, yeah, any department we, heads wanted to come in and see what's going on, right. they can. We're going to draft off a couple, mm -hmm. you know, once we get it pretty much yeah. where we want it, we're going to draft off a couple budgets. Okay. Can I say one other thing about the budget? The budget is put together without quote unquote raises. It's been doing, we've been doing this for years, but every other department, meaning the schools and police, it's already in the budget for their raises and so on and so forth down the line all the way. The rest of the townspeople do not get that choice. We get whatever may happen at the end. Well, I, watching I, our whole thing with one percent, three percent, nine percent, like some departments are getting this year. Nine percent. Who's nine getting percent. nine? Nine percent. It figures out to be. Where who's, is this? Who's, who's, get, who's getting nine percent? Up at the elementary school. Mm -hmm. By the time you figure in their step step increase in their cola percentage, it comes out to nine percent almost. But it. I, I would argue, as as a former school committee individual, and Clarence can speak as well mm -hmm. from another town, it, there's very very few people that fall within that step and grade right. where it's going to get bumped mm -hmm. up to nine percent. We we got the we got the new contract from the elementary school. Well, the contract's a contract. The steps and grades are going to be there, but it doesn't mean everybody's entitled to it. There, it's very few and far between. Ninety percent of the people are actually entitled to the step and grade because if they fall into that step and grade, they're going to get the they get the increase with the step, then they get their cola on top. Of it. But they're not eligible for that step and grade until certain times, and a lot of them have kind of it maxed falls out. Within, yes, you're correct on that. So and it, it, it stops with the step and grade, it stops at a certain point. It's, it's unfair to say they get 9%. You have townspeople with town employees well, thinking. I'll give you an example. The, the head janitor up there falls under that thing. He's getting roughly 9% increase on his pay coming up this year. And that would be a total different contract because he's, he's a support staff contract. Yeah, I because believe. I sat in on the support staff um, budget hearing, and um, I didn't see any of them. They're getting you know so much every single year, and I mean I know they get a step in grade, but I, I listened to them talk about it, and I didn't hear anything about any of them are going to come up to nine percent. Well, when you do the, when you actually do the math, of, you know what the the step. I'm just putting the number out there. It's, on his step, his increase is 35, 35 cents, say. Then he's getting the cola on top of that of whatever it may be this year. I'm not sure exactly what I it think was. they were like 2%. Two, two but what? once you figure it all out, it comes up to like 9%. Well, this, I know for the end of this year, this is the, because yeah. their new one starts probably in July. Right. But I know for this year, they would get the last one on the contract, is they were getting 1 and 3 quarter percent. That's all that they were getting. I guess what I'm getting at, it would be nice if our budgets, including our salaries, was done all together as a budget. And if it has to be cut at town floor, it has to be cut at town floor. Should, we shouldn't have to go to town floor to argue, you know, 1%, 2%, 4%. I, 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 I don't want to say take offense, but I think it's, it's a falsity that when everyone says we get the leftovers of the budget and the town coffers at town meeting. The, uh, ever since I've been on the school committee, the finance committee, well, the advisory committee, and this board, we've never done it that way. It's, we, we've always looked at what all the other departments are getting. Do we, do we know what the town employees are going to get for a 
that's what we're going to discuss that May 16th. 16th, right. So if anybody wants to know. It's an open it's meeting. meeting. It's an open meeting. We can be here the 16th and then we can hand it all up at that time. Well, since the chairperson of the body should was sitting here and they may have discussed it already, could you, can you answer it? Yes, I can answer it. We, we voted 1%. 1%. Okay. So now, now the select board can weigh in on that as well as everyone else in town. But we did our diligence and that's what we came up with. So I wasn't involved in that discussion. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait till okay. what they I, have I'm to just, say. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious and stuff. Yeah, that's now, where we're at right now. The town employees getting one percent, and we're putting all this other money to it, all the things, and you know that we need to do no matter what. But I'm just curious where the, the equilibrium comes in. Speaking of other things, not the sub subject for a second, um, trees at three hundred bucks a pop. Do we have enough money in the budget? that you put forward to make sure that in between your budget and the tree warden's budget that we have something like 16,000 or 17,000 available next year? I don't know what the tree warden's budget is. I didn't okay, so we'll do that on the 16th. Well, I, I spoke with Herb last week in regards to that, of taking that list and seeing how much it's gonna cost per tree. Mm -hmm. He was happy with whatever the tree warden proposed. Well, I said, Cindy had an email earlier today that you made it. I may haven't, not have seen, haven't seen any emails. Yeah, no, no, no problem. It worked out to be um, we had 122 trees. Uh, Herb was able to do about 57. Oh, there's, there's about 50 of them that we finally got down. So. Yeah, so 57. But even, even that 122, by the time next year comes around, it'll be right. 222. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right, and, uh, and that, that's my point. My point yeah, but is. That's, that's Herb's argument is we just do what we have to do. And you, can't, yeah, you can't cut them off one year. No, 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 and, and, and I'm buying that. What, what, what happened was we had a list of 122. Herb was able to do 57, leaving 55. The math for the whole year per tree was just under $300. So if you were to just take the 55 and multiply by 300, it comes out to be 16,500. So, so just keep that, keep that, keep that number in mind, and May 16th we'll, we'll look at it. Whatever the tree would put in, we asked him to be enough money. Whatever he put in, we, we, we went with Well, the at the same time, that was a discussion long ago. Right. And I, I, I'm thinking that his assumption was that all the trees from the hearing would be cut, and they weren't. Well, we've got 55 to go. Well, we were talking, when he came in, we were talking 99 trees when he came in. All, all the trees that w were on the hearing, mm -hmm. far as I know, has been taken down. I thought they weren't. Yeah, thought There's a bunch of other trees out there that are marked that should come down. Those weren't on the hearing? That were not on the hearing. So right. Good. A dead tree or a hazard tree is deemed dead or hazard. It can be taken down without a public hearing. And that's what I say. All right. So the bottom line is money and address it at this time meeting. Yep. Mm -hmm. Since we're talking about trees and everything right at the moment, the average figure is out just under three hundred under three hundred dollars for the town Brookfield Highway Department to work with a tree guy to take the trees down, right around three hundred dollars a tree. The way that he's doing, the way he did it last time around, it's almost, it's just about six hundred dollars a tree, so it's almost double the price. Because special conditions, or no? Because the highway department wasn't helping build the trees, and how things are going right now, I am getting kind of, I glad the money's run out right now to cut trees down because it's not a very good relationship, the far as I can say. All right, so money's going to be an issue. We'll have to have that discussion. Yeah. I still think there's a motion on the floor without a vote for the meeting. Oh, yeah. On oh. May 16th, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Now, could I just ask her one question? I thought that you had a tree guy that was charging you so much per day. $840 a day for tree work. For tree work. But that's just for the work, or does this cover taking the tree down? No, he comes out and he cuts all the tree and drops it down on the ground and yeah. stuff. He does the uh, bucket work. Yeah. Per se. Okay. So it's he, then he charges six hundred a tree. No, no, it's not per tree. It's per no, day. Oh, per day. So he could, he could get ten trees done a day. He could get oh, one tree okay. done a day. Right. And it all okay. depends how big the tree is. And for the whole year, cut. Looking at the whole picture, it average this three hundred, just below three hundred dollars. Oh, okay. And because yeah. of that. 
if since we're still talking about trees and I'm still sitting here. Within two and a half years of me giving up the tree waters position, the hazard trees and dead trees that created in less than two, two years in the town of Brookfield quadrupled. And now we're behind the eight ball again. Now, every time we go to take down a dead tree, hazard tree, a split tree, or whatever, you know, it's a hazard to the townspeople, to the people that drive and walk on the town roads. It needs to be maintained every year, not let go like it did for the past two years. So, if something needs to be done, something needs to be a better situation to do the whole thing. I thought you, I thought, one, first question, I thought we were paying the guy 105 an hour to treat that to help you out. Say that one again? You, you're paying the guy 105 an hour, correct? 800, $840 for an eight hour day. No matter when he starts cutting, it's, 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 so it's $840. So, if, okay, so if we don't start cutting until 8 o'clock, he's, he's, and he shows up at 7, he's still getting, he's still getting that if it takes us to get out there and set up and get going and everything else, he's getting paid from that time. Okay, so that's that's my point I'm trying to get to because at 7 o'clock you guys are just getting the end, you haven't got the trucks warmed up and he's already ready to go. So we're paying him to get to the site. By the time we get set up, we've already lost 105 is what I'm trying to say. No, you're getting more, you're getting more for the money with this guy at $840 for an eight-hour day than you are with guys at $1,500. Well, the question is, is he sitting at the highway barn for an hour? No. He's doing what he needs to do to get his stuff ready to go, everything else at the same time. I tell him where the job is. He usually meets us here sometimes. Other than that, he comes to the highway barn. Right. Okay. Well, I'm not going to get into it, but I just want to make sure. You know, we're not going to hire someone for fifteen hundred. I mean, there's other guys out there too that will be able to do the job. I'm not saying anything against them. I'm just saying I've seen some of the invoices, and some of the invoices show six hours, four hours, eight hours. So now you're telling me it's per hour. I mean, it's per day. So I'm just saying that adds up to a lot of money if you know if we're not we're not. Well, I don't know where you're seeing the six hours and four hours on an invoice because it's not from us. So you may, you must have to find out who that is. It's not coming from the highway pond, I can tell you that. Okay. What well, came right from, I, I saw an invoice that was from him. There's, there's no way that was from him. I can tell you that right now. Okay. Well, I saw the invoice. I have the invoice. So. The second question is, why was, I thought the original plan when we started doing a lot of trees was you were going to work with a tree company. And the tree water was just to pick out the trees and then you to go do them. The tree water? Mm -hmm. No, you know, so I'm just, just, I, I'm, I just, I'm just trying to bite my tongue here with the tree water. And <clears throat> there's people in town that have called the tree water. The tree water's never returned their phone calls until the tree come down. When I got one right by your house that took the wires down. That was the first time I used my generator in my house, too, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those people called twice, and they never got a return phone call. And they're pretty ticked. That's the first I've heard of it. I found um, out about it a couple of days ago. If So my recommendation, if calls, and I think I've told this to Cindy at a department head meeting, if calls come to you, yeah. send them to the selectman's office. We have been on that if we get the call. Yeah. But the people are not calling the highway department anymore because they know I'm not in charge. So then they should be calling the selectman's office. Then people need to be heads up out there on that. So if, if, if... That's why, in a way, you know, if it needs to be done efficient, it can be done efficient. But if I have to put up a bunch of baloney and everything else, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to want to do it. So and I'm not going to help anybody to do it. So the town's going to have to come up with a lot of money per year to maintain the trees. All right, so let's have this discussion further on the 16th. Yeah. yeah. One other question is, how would the townspeople know who to call if they have a, a hazardous situation with a tree? How, how I, I'm, 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 I'm the surprised that they, they even know the tree warden's phone number, to be honest with you. Right, I don't know how they got yeah. it. So I don't know how oh, they oh. got it. Um, See, if Karen's, if Karen's in the town hall's closed and they got a serious issue, 
who are the townspeople supposed to notify me? Nine one one. If it's a serious issue, yeah, 911. Right. But I mean, if it's just a run of the mill and the town hall's closed and they don't have this. The, the tree came down, it was fixed yeah. that day. If it does go to 911, it ends up back in my lap every time. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And you know how to get a hold of me, and I know how to get a hold of him. Mm -hmm. It's it's worked. Oh, could I ask one quick question? No. In, <laughs> you know the one that came down across <laughs> from my driveway a few weeks ago? Mm -hmm. You had to go down. Now, whose responsibility is that to clean that up? Homeowner. No. So it is the homeowner. Yeah, it's their tree. We just got it out of the roadway and stuff. Oh, okay. It's I was just, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Item number four, vacation carryover. We have two employees that are requesting carryovers. Um, do you guys think that you'll be able to take any of these in the next couple months? <coughs> first, first two weeks of June, I got paid, and that's going on. That's the reason I'm asking for it. And as soon as that's done, I'm asking to take a full month off right after that. You're going to take an entire month off in July? Well, the last two weeks of June and the first two weeks of July. And how does this board feel about that? Mm -hmm. How so, are all your projects going to be like Weber Road and things like that? That's supposed to be happening in the first week of June. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of hoping that's all, 90% of that's all done. Has the state given you a date to pave it all or is it still in the air? Well, it's, we'll finish one thing and then I'll jump right, right to that. We have one role that they're supposed to come in and we're going to take care of that and finish getting that uh, approach to it away so it can be paid mm -hmm. the first full week of uh, June or the second week of June okay. it's supposed to be paid. This uh, River Street, this uh, thousand feet of River Street here is being re redone and everything else at the same time. So we got these two projects. Once those are done and hopefully we got everything cleaned up after that, I want to take my time off. Uh, speaking of this mass DOT for uh, Route 148, we have a meeting in Worcester there on, 16. I think it's the 25th or 24th of the, of, uh, the month in Worcester. It was the 20 anyway. Yeah, yeah I think it's the 24th or 25th, uh, pre-construction meeting. Uh, have they budged on the whole 148, the bridge to the... We've been pushing. I had a meeting this afternoon with a couple of state guys out here. Did you confirm that Sturbridge is getting from town line to 20? That I, they didn't say anything about that. It's from the Sturbridge, Brookfield Sturbridge line to the north end of 148, uh, north end of Molasses Hill. I've, I've heard from Sturbridge officials like they're getting all the 148 done. From, t from 20 I, to town line. I've heard the same thing. Yeah, I haven't heard that yet, and they haven't said anything about it. And no. Arthur said he would, they were doing the contract that they had was from the Sturbridge line. To Have you contacted Berthium or Gobi? Gobi, so what? They've been notified, and we've been kept, keep sending emails and this and that, and trying to find out what's going on. Um, like I said, I talked to Arthur today, and he was out for a quick meeting at the bridge because there's some issues at the bridge down there. Um, there's, it's exactly a mile of road that has to be done from Prox, well, the north end of Molasses Hill to where they finish the uh, bridge job. With their paperwork and everything else for the contract that they got for the job and a lot of stuff that they're not going to have to do on the other job that's 1.5 million dollars to do four miles of road i think it's kind of crazy but they go they get trees in it we remove the uh, vegetation to be cut and i'm, I'm scratching my head with that and i'm going where is all this because i don't see any of it on the road and uh he says well it's just formality stuff that we have to put together and they have to it's yeah it's not like 49 49 that's where you're talking yeah yeah, at the end uh, of 49, they're digging all the road up. No, all of 49, if you remember correctly, they paved it a few years ago. Yeah, they they, right, they right did now, the, the uh, vegetation up about 100 feet. But, oh, yeah. but last week, though, I was went took 49 and was going to Sturbridge, and they're digging, they were down there digging it all up well, with a rough surface. That's 20. The, uh, to do that mile of road, according to their paperwork and everything else, it's like 330000 or so, 300, no, $400,000 to do that mile. So are you going to push for that 
next week or two weeks from now, or should we I, get? Uh, yeah. Should we get on the phone? And with part of the in in go be there. There's supposed to be a representative at that meeting there on the twenty fifth. From 24. her from her office. From her office. So. So I'll make a note not to call. I got. She's the word. Yeah. We we haven't stopped. We we've been we keep pushing the state yep. and we keep okay. no. You paid it once before. Why don't you pay it? You're here now. Let's get it paid again. It so so next question. We have an article for line painting. Do yeah. do we not line paint because the state's just going to paint that road and that's the majority of the road? That, we ain't painting that section of the road. We ain't well, going to waste the time. On. It's still the same price that we're always getting. We haven't used. It. Last year's line painting, which is being done Sunday we, night. We, we passed over last year. No, there's money there. If there's money there, it's just from the account. We didn't. We took it off. We didn't put it on as an article last year. It was on special. We didn't put it on. We took it off. We have all the paperwork. You might, might want to check the money, because I remember we took it off one year. I thought it was last it was year. It was $7,400. Because we all, we all agreed that it wasn't I necessary. One year it was to, I don't know if it was last year or I when. I thought it was I last year. Uh, we took it off. I know. You took it off year. one year, but yeah. you, I'm pretty sure you voted this past year to do it. And I would just, you, I would check, I would check for the money, make sure it's you, there. You asked me not to paint last fall, and I said I wasn't gone because we haven't had time. That's how I remember. And I, th well, I remember that, but I thought we took it off as an article as well. No, I think it was the year before. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was the year before. As long as, 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 as long as the money is there. Right. But we're not going to paint 148. Not save, that section 148. Save the money. From the uh, river bridge to the, uh, to the top of the hill, and that's it. All right. So I'll entertain a motion to allow Mr. Chafee and Mr. Herbert to carry over the vacation, uh, not to go past um, August 31st. We usually do two months. Yeah, I, I want to take a vacation. Mm. Since you're talk, talking about the vacation, you got to make a vote on it. Are you, are you people going to allow me to take a month right off? No. You know, as, you know as well as I do, you're not leaving, and this isn't us he, saying he, it. He, you're, he, you're, 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 you're not leaving unless you can, so I, I'm not opposed to it. No. Absolutely. I, I get too much work I do in my, my own house at home that didn't get done the past couple Well, when you're done with that, you can come to my house. No. I, I'll, borrow your es I'll borrow your excavator. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'm I'll, I'll, I'll trailer house. it down. So mm -hmm. do I have that motion? I do have that motion. Yeah, do I have, you a, have second? a second? Yes. Any further discussion? No. As long as he comes, I'll, I'll give it to him as long as he comes down to Coybog Street and puts a sidewalk, a sidewalk yeah. for me to walk on. He can do it. Don't yeah. think that's happening. No, <laughs> Any other discussion? <laughs> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, seasonal employee. The applications are in here. I've been informed that none of them are interested. Have we gone back out? For advertising? We've been out twice already and I don't want to spend any more money. <coughs> Recommendations? Who, who made the comment that everything's mowed up now? Did Emory come up and do that? No, I no. Mike and I Mike and I have been we started working on stuff that needed to be worked on. We whack. So far we got uh, thirty seven man hours in. So here's my recommendation, not to spend any more money. With school coming to a close in a week or two, can we reach out to Bay Path, Tantasqua, Quaybog, North Brookfield, David Prouty, go through either their guidance department or their administrative principal and see if they can make announcements for anyone interested in a summer job? I have no problem making but those calls. But don't they have to be over 18, though, if they want, if they want to drive the one ton some, some, some of the seniors that are that are uh, graduating yeah. are 18. Yeah, okay. What about college kids? Get I had mentioned that too. College but at, at, kids. at the same time, that's the college kids should be reading his ads. Yes and no. Kids in high school aren't reading the ads, but everybody that's getting out is chomping. And, you know, I got out of high school, I worked for Dave, Richard's Furniture, for the summer. Speaking of, uh, you have to be a certain age to operate power equipment and stuff for the towns and municipalities. The lawnmower that had been being used around the town hall area here and stuff, 
very, very, very unsafe, and it's, it's disappeared. What do you mean it's disappeared? It's gone to the highway department because it's so, it's so unsafe it, it, it shouldn't even have been here. The deck's cracked over halfway around it. The Husqvarna? No, this is a John Deere push mower that's uh, self-propelled oh. that's been used around here. Oh. <clears throat> People shouldn't be using these things if they don't know, and I'm speaking out without saying it. I think I'm picking up. You, you bet. Okay. You're gonna have an issue. It's the first complaint I've heard, but we have to deal with the seasonal. So, what are you guys opposed to trying that the next couple weeks yeah. in our next you meeting? Know, we gotta try something because we need somebody or someone to, you know, help out. And I thought Emery was gonna come up, but I haven't seen him, so he hasn't stopped by. So I don't know what's would, going on. Have you called him? I don't have his number. Would he be willing to take on the seasonal position? He don't mind doing, helping out with doing some of the mowing and stuff, but he don't want to do any of the weed whacking. He oh. really don't care to do that, which I don't blame him. It's, you know, but we're, we're come, and everything else. We're coming up against the wall, so we'll try that route. Two weeks, reevaluate it, go sure. from there. No. Yeah. Who, who, can, can we, through our office, do an ad? It's throwing money away if no one's responding to it. Let's let's see what happens. Yeah, to okay. Right. And all, what the applications you guys net to. So let's see what happens in a week. Okay. okay. Um, and then an agreement if it if we don't get any response in a week, we'll go out for an ad through the selectman's yeah, office. Yeah. Are we okay with that? Do I need yeah. a motion for that? Or are we in agreement? I think we're in agreement. Oh, we're in agreement. Right. Yeah. Now with the lawnmower, now that you should just took back, can do you have another one down there or push more? No, we don't want to push more. That's it. It's not self propelled. No. You don't want to push that. So what are we going to do then to cut the lawn up here? If I mowed here the other day. If, and I, I think we can, we can work that out. To be honest with you, I was very surprised to see the common mowed today when I came by the common this morning. Well, I, I've been sick and tired of looking at it. That was well, that's where, last Friday. That's, that's where I was at, so I was, I was actually going to call you Friday and get a key and get it on Saturday and do it myself. So worst case, and, and before this was mowed over here, I was actually planning on coming down with my own mower to mow the police station. So I'll, I'll volunteer if we can't do anything. Okay. Now we spent, two of us spent uh, two and a half hours over at the car picking up the debris off the car. That's another issue that's on the other. We can take uh, that yeah, while you're here. Yeah, I didn't say I was picking up that but uh, while we're talking about debris on the other, um, if you've seen the emails going back and forth, we're going to place signs on the common. Yeah. We're going to place signs down in Lewis Field. Mm -hmm. We're trying to attach. So there's, there's a dog excrement issue. There People is. are not policing their dogs, and it's actually... Well, it's, a town, it, it's a town bylaw. It's, it's disgusting. Um, so we're going to start enforcing that, and um, through, through that discussion, mm -hmm. it's uh, proposed at a $100 fine for not policing, and then obviously the police department handles that. Yep. But once the signs are up, we're gonna be, become yeah. very diligent. Uh, diligent I, I, I saw some of the samples of the signs that came online today. You had a question. How do you propose to enforce that law? If you, see, if you see somebody not picking it, well, it's, it's not so much a, well, it's already by law. It's a town bylaw. So if, if, you, if you don't, it's, town it's like seeing someone speeding. You pull them over and you give them a citation. The police so officer the sees it. One hundred on, on a town common, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Are they aware that they have to be doing that? They're in the loop, but once the signs are up, they're going to become very aware. Aren't they going to put some down by Lewis Field too? Yeah. Yes, it's an they issue. He's, he's actually locking up the fields now because it's such an issue. Yep. Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. Well, I know two little kids that got into it and they didn't realize. What Just, it. it's disgusting. Tell me about it. I don't want to mow the common. People should be ashamed of themselves. Yeah. There's one, two, three, four. There's at least four sets of dogs that we know definitely who they are. That the police and need to start knocking. Hard. Police need to start knocking on doors. <laughs> so I'll, don't have to go too I'll call Mike mm -hmm. once we get out of here and see what he's doing about it firsthand. Has anybody been mowing the Lewisville? Because I know that they started getting who's doing that. 
Uh, they're volunteers. There's two volunteers. Okay. Same individual that uh, we recognized last year. On the cleanup day, they were doing it. A lot going on down there, cleanup day. Yep. All right. Um, item number six, I'll entertain a motion to accept with regret Ms. Vitello's resignation as the Brookfield ACO inspector. I'll make that motion. So okay. sending a letter of appreciation. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Number seven, I'll entertain a motion to appoint, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, where's the name, Miss uh, Purdue, mm -hmm. as a new an animal control officer, term to expire June 30th, 2016. We'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. Are you not all in favor? Aye. What's the rate the is okay? Is there a, is there a amount on there? I don't. That's there not a. Not. No. It's probably whatever the salary she, she didn't ask for anymore. She, she, she never came in with the budget, so we just uh, level funded it. Yeah. Just yeah. so you know. That. Yeah. She's, she's always pretty much, I think she came once for materials years ago to she office. She always came in before, just this year's only year. Um, pa, 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 pa. Item number eight, entertain a motion to allow QQLA the use of South Pond on May 28th, 2016. Three vehicles, ten boats from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Welcome to summer picnic. Make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Do you sign this, Clowns, or do I? I? I have in the past. Be my guest. Going for it. Entertain a motion to allow the QQLA use of South Pond on 7 2 16, mm -hmm. uh, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Vehicles 10, I 0, boats 10. I'll make that motion. Second. Do we have a second? I mean, do we have any discussion? Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to allow Northern Bass Alliance use of South Pond on October 2nd, 2016. Nine vehicles, nine boats. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Aye. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Where did you put mine in, Karen? And I wanted to. Oh, you want to use Steve the pond? Said, Steve said that uh, it didn't have to go before the board, that the office oh. could make the decision. So, yes, you may have permission oh, to use the Oh, thank the, you. The administrative assistant, we gave permission uh, years ago, oh, right. Peter, Rudy, and I, um, instead of going before the board for use of the town hall, the board didn't know what schedule, the big schedules in there okay. that Paul and Karen go over. Okay. So we decided, and it's on vote, you can look for it, okay. uh, that the administrative assistant had the ability to allow okay. use of town okay, hall. thank you. And there is an application if you want to go through the application okay. process, but I don't think it's necessary okay. for your purpose. Right. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Um, item number nine, we already did that, May 16th, yeah. 7 p.m. Um, other we already dealt with. I think there was only one. Uh, I've got one. Yeah, All right. Uh, so in our conversation, uh, Cindy and I were invited to a... a uh, energy meeting or curb as well and we Cindy and I could not attend because of other conflicts and the like and so as a kind of an out, outpouring from that um, the uh, Tantasqua and the name escapes me at the moment because I didn't bring it with me but I, we had the opportunity to have um, Tantasqua's energy expert to come through town hall and the highway barn the other day um, what we learned in just conversation or there's some things that we can do from an energy perspective just turn all the lights off uh, no we actually do qu quite well it's yep. actually in the case of her it would be some LEDs to go uh, upgrade to LEDs um, so <clears throat> we, you have them on timers and you're doing the right thing but LEDs would in fact do have so more with, light okay. with the other better. programs they supplied the fixtures are they doing that again or? okay so there's, there's at least uh, three, three buckets that we can play with. So the first bucket is that they replace, and they, based on you not having to pay more for your electric bill, you, you, you're actually paying for the bulbs as a part of your bill. You, so that's a kind of a first level. And in fact, uh, Cindy's gonna receive a proposal, Herb and Cindy are gonna receive a proposal where he's done a, a study of the, the bulbs that could be changed at the highway barn. Um, and so that, that'll come to us. <clears throat> and again, would be paid. 
But the, there's a second tier of work where we, uh, and what, what I'm actually suggesting is that we have the building inspector come to this meeting or we can do it in the department head meeting and have a conversation because the town is uh, eligible for between 140 and 160 thousand dollars of grant money that's reimbursable. So if you spent 25, you get 25 back for energy related projects that fall under the guidelines of this. If you, in your building codes, say that you need to work to the latest um, green eligibility for, the, for new construction. So it's something that we've, we should talk about because there's 140 which, or 160,000 bucks that's sitting out there. Which I believe this came up years ago and we chose not to uh, implement it. Yep, okay, well then all I'm suggesting is 140 or 160,000 bucks to do things around the town hall might be a good idea to think. I'm, I'm still not on board with it because I don't think we're going to spend that much money here and it's just another regulation that we really don't need in town. I think we ought to talk about it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So let's, let's, because, wait, let's wait for the proposal. Because now the third is once you get through that chunk of money and, and, and again, if we were to do something in the town hall and I'm talking the renovation activity and whatnot, there's a third tier of money where you can get up to $250,000 a year if you're part of that program. You, yeah. you go through the first 140 or 160, depending on the type of town. And so can I make a recommendation that you give Mr. Taylor a call yeah. and have yeah, that I just, discussion? Yeah, this I, I just is want the same fellow that you had in the other day that yeah. I met. I yeah. met him the you other met day. Him. Yes. Because this came up about three years ago. Okay. So I think time to think about revisiting. Uh, the other the other piece to this puzzle is we're also spending or, or consuming 30% more when you did the solar stuff mm -hmm. you decided what your energy usage usage was going to be and what we're doing today is spending more than 30% more mm -hmm. than what we thought okay. so we can have, we readjust that figure or are we locked into it forever well you only have so much coming at you yeah. and and you're now you're expending monies for energy in the buildings that you have and this was before the police station, so it can't, it's just not the police station. No, and it so, hasn't been online that long. Exactly. And so we are consuming 30% more than we should. And instead of going and buying a bunch more solar cells, you ought to be thinking about conserving. And again, that's what prompted me to think about what, what are the grant opportunities that we might have available. But it hinges on that green piece. It does. Mm -hmm. So that, that information is forthcoming, and once that happens, I'll get a hold of Jeff. Okay. Any other other? Um, I'd like to just very shortly, I gave um, you the, oh, yeah. the new employee, it's the draft I gave you for the employee handbook. And I just wanted to let you know that we do have um, a few more sections that we do need to put in it. We, uh, we went over the selectman's policy book and pretty much of everything was all covered in that except for the one for um, the snow policy that they had set back in 2007 and uh, then we were going to have we're going to put in some different forms in there too like you know sexual harassment forms we're going to put in forms for vacation mileage and a lot of those different things that's going to be included in it also and then we just wanted to let you know you know that we went through many um, hand other towns handbooks before we actually settled on what we were going to use and the ones that we used were ideas from Wales, North Brookfield, and Barry. So we went through them. I think and we already have a policy for mileage, if you want to check on that. Oh, we do. But what we're saying, though, we're going to, we're going to put the files in there. The fi I mean, we're going to put the form in, the in there for the mileage right. so people will have that. And then another thing we wanted you also to know that we um, got a lot of information, too, from the employment law guide that was put out by the Mass Boston Bar Association. So we went through a lot of things that they also had, too. And then um, when the fisc new fiscal year comes in, we're going to start working on stepping green. So we just wanted to let you know in all the work that we put into it. And, you know, we worked very di diligently on it from last July up until now in the committee. We've all worked well together, and we all want to be reappointed for a new term. There you go. <laughs> we, we did. We worked Only campaigning. Okay. Well. Yep. Say something real quick. Yep. I don't want to put a... The upper? They, they're doing a good job by the sounds when they're in those, yeah. you know, that committee and everything else. Snow policy. When that does happen, what happens with the, with the rest of the kind of employees that have to work? I just want to well, a curveball out there at you. Well, we went after, but we haven't really worked on it yet. 
So I don't understand the question. You guys are compensated at a higher rate for, for plowing. You have During the daytime, you get a paid very low rate. Well, I guess what I'm getting at is, you say the town hall is closed, everybody stays home or whatever. Right, so, okay, they, you get, just... they do whatever with pay, however they're going to do it. We have to come in and work no matter what. I think what, what the... I, I'm just throwing a curveball out there. So, okay? so, so what a lot of people don't understand is a lot of people in this building are elected. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that are appointed or hired um, in the past, they're here. They come in. And if they're not going to come in, they take personal days. They take a personal day. Yeah. So there's, there's really no effect to the town. Yeah. But we took, we looked at the one, you know, oh, the two that is, we have. <laughs> you, want, well, you want to take a personal day when it's no. snow? No. You got a month of vacation. Go for it. Yeah, you're going to take, take a month. Take it in the winter, not in the summer. Don't you tell. Want, you want us to put no. That on a piece no, of paper? no, don't. No. <laughs> did every, I need a copy of that tape. <laughs> I'm only teasing. No, we're going to review it more because there was I'm a policy wanna, back I'm in 2007. A slight curveball. Yeah. It's, it's, not a cur it's not a curveball at all. It should be addressed in that yeah, handbook. Sure. Well, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, we're going to go over. That's I one of the ones maybe. that we have to add to it because it we had. Be brought up we've had a lot of questions heard on that. Yeah. A lot of questions that come forward on that. That's good. That's good. All right, correspondence. Uh, the fire chief has informed this board that the copier that used to be in that room that migrated over there is no longer uh, worth repairing. So he's asking us to uh, put it into surplus. I'm assuming nobody wants it. Uh, once we put that out, if nobody wants it, uh, he's asking to dispose of it. So we'll entertain that motion. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 The uh, Cub Scout Pack 159 of Brookfield, Mass., uh, which they should be congratulated because I believe it's one of the first troops in Brookfield for a long time. Oh, yes, it is. Doing a great um, job. Are, and they're growing every day. Yep. Uh, they're requesting the use of the town common on August 13th, 2016, for an overnight encampment that will act as a recruiting drive to promote the program and encourage new members. I will entertain a motion to allow the pack. Uh -huh. Use of the town common. I will make that motion. Date. Second. Good for them. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 I was a Cub, I, I did Cub Scouts <laughs> years ago. With Billy and, or yourself? Yeah, with Billy. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey. We did it in our, we used to do it in our homes and we had, sure. we had quite the crew. Pine, was it I Pine Box Drives? Pine, Pine, Pinewood Pine Pine Pinewood. Yeah. We did. I did it with Karen's sister, Donna Pluff, who no longer right. lives here in town. We used to have meetings at my house and then we had meetings at her house. We did a lot I'm, of things with the I'm kids. a former. Cub, uh, Cub and Scout Master, yeah. so I know the drill, yeah. okay. and, and, and the, the uh, both the boy and the uh, Cub Scouts are uh, chartered by the church, and we encourage them, and it's just, they're growing well. Because yeah. I know for a while lectures. we didn't have one, because I know the kids yeah. used to go to East Brookfield. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's mm -hmm. great, they've got it back again. Great program. Yes, it is. Um, correspondence, National Grid is reaching out to us again uh, for their um, mechanical control. Again, I would ask that we forward this to the um, Conservation Commission. Yeah, yeah. They had okay. issues. Our charter is informing us that the annual financial report for Massachusetts is on file in the town hall. Anybody wishing to view that can do so at their leisure. Did you have your hand up? No? Right. Any other issues, questions, problems? No. I wish Sharon was here earlier. We had a moment of silence for Alan Martell, who used to be our former highway supervisor. And then I had written up a little statement on it that I had read earlier, too. So, you know. Individual that will truly be missed. He will be. But yet celebrated. Yes. Maybe it should be rebated. Go for it. You want me to? Yeah, please. Oh, okay. I thought it was kind of a nice thing. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay. All right. A week, a week ago, we lost a wonderful man. I met Alan when he moved to Brookfield in the early 70s, after his home in West Brookfield was destroyed by a fire. I had the pleasure of knowing Alan for over 40 years as a friend. When he was hired to be the highway superintendent, he said what, that was his retirement job. He worked for the town for 26 years, retiring at an early age of 83. He was a crusty old Vermonter, and Alan touched many of the hearts of people who knew him. 
I walked every day by his house. I always got a wave and a smile, and he watched me every day for the last days before he passed away. And it seemed that he always knew every time I walked by the house because, it, you know, he'd look out and he'd always smile. It was always a wave. And I'll miss him. Uh, no, um, what else here? Uh, nobody I ever knew before took such pride in taking care of our roads in Brookfield than Alan. And on a lighter side, he always promised me a sidewalk on Koibog Street. Maybe someday when I meet him again, he'll have a sidewalk prepared for me. Paved God, in gold. Paved yeah, in gold. Paved, <laughs> paved in gold. God bless you, Alan, and rest in peace. Truly missed. He will. He's a, he was a wonderful man to know. Yeah. Um, and what we didn't do even with camera is congratulate Miss Lincoln on her re-election. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Congratulations, ma'am. Thank you very much, and yeah. I thank all the voters who supported me. Uh, and I guess I made them happy over the last three years, and I hope I'll be able to do the same thing the next three years. Definitely. All right, I will entertain a motion to enter into executive session under exemption number two to conduct strategy sessions and preparations for non uh, for negotiations with non-union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract neg uh, negotiations with non-union personnel and to enter back into regular session for the sole purpose of adjournment. I will make that motion. Second. Come to our eye. Lincoln eye. Snyder eye. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>